Just the general secretary, if you like. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, thanks very much for that. Can I um, can I start by offering my own personal condolences, condolences of our union and sympathies to all those victims of disasters on our streets, actually, uh, and uh, the condolences as well, of course, to those the survivors that are injured sometimes tragically and life changingly. And that's an important thing to regard in terms of what we're trying to do here today, because a lot of the reasons that these incidents take place are covered in the report and of course our Bill of Rights that we're submitting to the Mayor's Office today and that's not for a 2030 action plan to be put into place or some report to be drawn up over the next five years to sit prop and open a door somewhere. That's for action to be taken right now on very simple measures that could be taken to address some fundamental problems that affect our members in the way which you do your job day in day out. And I want to thank all of you actually for a fantastic job that you do keeping our streets moving, keeping our people uh, where they need to be in very, very difficult circumstances with very little thanks and often attacked, attacked by employers that have got no motivation to do anything other than to maximise their own profit, of course, and in doing that, undermine your terms and conditions, make sure that there are reductions in the numbers of drivers and that maintenance isn't properly scheduled and that, of course, engineers and controllers and all of those are under as much pressure as they can be put under. And we need to address that. And I joined our union. I joined our union when it was Transport and General Workers Union 35 years ago this year as a bus conductor at Woolworth. And down at Woolworth 35 years ago, of course, it was a different picture. It was London Transport. We had dignity, we had respect, we had collective bargaining, we had terms and conditions we could be proud of, and we were proud to be bus drivers and bus conductors and engineers and work on our streets. And then privatisation came along, of course. We didn't deregulate in London, but we privatised. And we got the privatisers in there to maximise their own profits at the expense of the service that we were providing to the people of London. And now we're trying to do something about that. And you did something about that. And I thank you for what you did in striking, not just for your Olympic award and everything else, but to get collective bargaining back through the forum that we achieved. And you achieved it. You achieved it by taking action and forcing them to operate in a different way. And that's the way that we're going to address these sorts of issues um, as well. You've got solid organisation. We had facilities at the time, and those facilities have been eroded away, of course, over the years. And that's why I want to congratulate the authors of the report and congratulate you on your Bill of Rights, because it addresses all of those fundamental issues that should be very simple to address. Why should you have to suffer the indignity of not having a toilet at the end of every single bus route that operates in London and having to find a pub somewhere or a calf or a neighbour or an organisation that's happy to take you in so that you can go to the toilet? How do we deal with medical problems, drivers that have got medical problems that need to use facilities? We talk about it on the street uh, amongst citizens, but we don't talk about it amongst workers. And these are really fundamental issues, relatively straightforward to resolve and easy and quick measures can be put in place and must be put in place. And we've got to deal with the fatigue and the stress that comes out of wrong scheduling, long scheduling, the fact that you're constantly under pressure to get a timetable uh, delivered for bus operators that are fine for perhaps the wrong reasons. They're fine because they're not maintaining the schedule. You're put under pressure to maintain that schedule rather than to drive and operate that vehicle safely and look after not just the passengers but the citizens of London in doing that. So, you know, we've got a challenge. All of us, collectively, we've got a challenge. I want to give 150% support from your union, your executive, Len McCluskey as your General Secretary, and me as an Assistant General Secretary, in making sure that we support you to deliver it. And whatever we need to do, we're not going to sit around, you're not going to sit about for another report in five years' time, as I've already said. You'll do what you need to do, as you prove that you can, time and time again, to make sure that dignity and respect is delivered back again to London bus workers. It's long overdue, and we're with you in that fight, comrades. Thanks very much.